What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Rippin' Packs. It is... I know, I do that sound effect. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, that day. It's Thursday. Throwback Thursday. And we're going to throw it back to, uh, you know, a time when I would have liked to have gotten this product, but it wasn't available then. And it's even more fitting that it would be now that I open it. And what is that? Well, it's the 2020 Topps Holiday Baseball Mega Box. Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, this was supposed to be out, uh, you know, like three weeks ago, a month ago, whatever, and it never showed its ugly face onto the shelves at the Walmarts out there. Finally showed up. I got myself a box, and we're going to open it, and we're going to see what we get. Hi there. I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. Okay, everybody, if you watch my channel on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve, you saw that I opened the 2019 version. Technically, those were throwbacks as well. This is a throwback technically because we're in 2021, even though it's a 2020 product that just showed up. But it should have been here, but now I'm going to open it. Anyway, so Topps 2020 Holiday Mega Box. We have 10, car 10 cards at 10 packs, 100 cards total. We have a relic, an autograph, or autograph relic in every box. And then there's like a little goofy little ornament, which is worthless to me because I'm not going to hang it up on my tree. And yes, believe it or not, my tree is still up. Yeah, because that's what we do around this household. Um, actually, it's going to come down in a week or so. But still, anyway, uh, there are some, uh, we're looking at the metallic holiday uh, uh, ice kind of you know, uh, variations. There are short prints and hopefully I can see which ones are which. And we're gonna open this. Hey, but before we open this, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button. Yeah, click that like button. Yeah, click the notification bell. Sure. You'll see me open up more stuff like this, you know, like way back in time in 2020 or 2019, maybe even 2012, yeah. I like to actually open some older basketball and football. Um, maybe you'll find some packs. I'm, I really don't want to open any junk wax. I'm kind of over it already, even though I've opened it like twice on this channel. But still, I opened up so much of that back in my days that I really don't care to. If I can get some 83s, 84s, I'm totally down with it because that's that'd be kind of cool. Those are kind of the guys I want to pull pack fresh versions of. Anyway, meandering. Again, 10 packs, 10 cards. We got some perks in here. Let's just open it and see what we get. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Let's do this. Now, let's do it. Throwback Thursday. Ripping packs. Here we go. Three, two, one, and action. Ugh, terrible cut. There we go. All right. So, again, like I mentioned, if you watched the channel uh, a couple weeks ago, I did a rip of this on New Year's Eve and Christmas Eve. So it was kind of cool uh, getting those. I did pull a Vladdy uh, on the first box, but on the second box, I pulled a uh, Tatis and a Pete Alonzo and a Keston Hira. I didn't even pull the memorabilia because I quit while I was ahead. So what will this do? Like, let's get a Lou Bob. Let's get a Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis is a guy on PC anyway. Let's get a Bo Bichette. Let's just have fun, damn it. Let's have some fun in the holiday festive spirit of Topps 2020 Holiday Mega 321 Go. All right, we have got our Frankie Lindor. That's our uh, ornament card, uh, which is worthless because he's now with the Mets. Wah, wah. Um, yeah, uh, so of all cards to pull, I know they have a Lou Bob on this, but oh well, Frankie Lindor. I couldn't even get a guy who's actually playing on his team now. That's not a good omen, this box. Uh, so here we go. Oh, we got one down here. Let's see if I can get out of here. Plastic. Ugh. Let's see if I could find the memorabilia before we even open anything. And get, leave that for last. Okay, I'm gonna meander here for a minute while you all look. And we did get 10 packs. That's great. We got 10 whole packs. Oh boy. Uh so I, I think. I think this is the memorabilia, so I'm just gonna stash this and put this over here. 
All right, so let's rip some packs. All right, pack number one of Topps 2020 holiday. Yeah, ripping packs, three, two, one, go. All right, we've got Yadier Molina of the Cardinals, who's a free agent, so we'll see where he lands. Then we've got Gio Urshula of the Yankees. One thing about this set is it's actually a really nice set, considering the fact that you get the best of Series 1, Series 2. You don't have to deal with updates, so you get everything, you not in the set, but available to you to, to pull. Then we have Evan Longoria of the Giants. Elvis Andrews of the Rangers. We have Aaron Nola of the Phillies. Bryce Harper, who is a guy who I've been jumping on uh, collecting since I've got back into the hobby. And he's gonna go in my hip pile because I like the guy. He's kind of an ass, but I like the guy. Um, he's a baller. Then we have Randy Arazarena, nice. So there's a, there's a hit, a rookie hit, which is hilarious, he's a rookie, but yeah. And that's, I think, a different card than his uh, than his uh, updates card as well. So that's a, that's a nice little hit right there. Put that in the little hit pile right next to Brass Harper. Then we have Jose Barrios, pitcher for the Twin Cakes, the Twinnies. Nobody says that. Nick Cassianos, outfielder for the Reds. And the last card of the pack is Gregory Polanco of the Pirates. So pack number one was not bad. We pulled the Bryce, but the Randy uh, Rosarena was a nice, uh, nice little hit there. Pack number two, what you gonna do? Wanna come for you? Pack two, pack two, I'm gonna open you, and I'm gonna get Justin Verlander, who's out for the year for Tommy John surgery for the Houston Astros. Then we have Xander Bogart's first PC hit of the Red Sox. Put you down there. Gary Sanchez of the Yankees. I hate the Yankees, but I'd like to see him have a better year than he did last year. Then we have Marcelo Zuna, free agent of the Braves. I don't know where he's gonna land, but he definitely can hit. Defense, not so much. Hit, yes. Fernando Tatis, nice hit right there of the Pods. Uh, and hopefully they'll lock him up because he's gonna well, they need to. They want that team to stick around. Then we have our first foil here of Araldus Chapman, which is hilarious because I pulled Chapman's uh, icy foil on the 2019s as well. Why couldn't it be a card earlier? I don't know. I'm just not that lucky. Anyway, that's going into the minor hit pile. Tony Goslin, PC hit, pitcher for the Dodgers, pitched game six of the World Series. Only went like an inning and two thirds, but still pitched in game six of the World Series. Yeah. Shun Yamaguchi for the Blue Jays going into the rookie pile, which I'm gonna make a different pile for that one just because of the fact of Randy Rosaranish does not need Shun Yamaguchi near him. Jake Arietta for the Phillies. And the last card is Corey Seager of the Dodgers going in the PC pile. Okay, pack number three. Ripping packs. Oh, wow, that was great. Pops Holiday 2020. We have got, if I can open this, good lord, people. Uh, Ken Wong of the Giants. Then we have Aaron Judge for the Yankees. Nick Solak, rookie card, technically, of the Rangers. PC hit, Andrew Benatendi. I was hearing rumors the last couple days that he might get traded. I know the Red Sox are looking to offload some guys. He had a, such a crappy year last year. Um, I don't know what you're gonna get for him, but you're better off just holding on to him. He's too good. Now, Kyle Lewis, nice. That's exactly, that's awesome. PC hit, but it was one of the rookies I wanted to pull because I collect this dude. Yeah, I like a Lou Bob, but still, Kyle Lewis, it's exactly what I wanted to pull. That's a hit. And 
Jose Altuve. Looks like it's one of those variations. Of all the friggin' guys to get a variation of, that's Jose Altuve. He's got some cool little foil uh, indentations on here, but if you can see, he's wearing candy cane socks. <laughs> of all guys, Altuve. Really. Whatever. Well, it's going into the uh, hip pile. I mean, the whatever, the insert junk pile. Chris Paddock of the Padres. Picture for them. Then we have Brennan Rogers for the Colorado Rockies. Jordan Alvarez for the Astros. We've got, we pulled some pretty good rookies so far. I, I, and that's only, we're only, what, three packs in? We're doing pretty good, actually. Then Edwin Rios going into my PC hits. Rookie card for the Dodgers. Yeah, we've done pretty good so far, to be honest with you. So hopefully it's not all downhill after this. But hey, you know what? You never know. All right, we have Jose Ramirez for the Tribe. Jeff McNeil for the Mets of New York, who have completely done a uh, magnificent job of turning that ship around. And then we have Jake Fraley. Looks like he's trying, looks like he's playing at Wrigley Field there. If he's not at Wrigley Field, then he's playing in his backyard, uh, trying to catch a fly ball. Brandon McKay, another PC hit uh, of mine. I do collect this guy because I like the fact that he's a two-way player, uh, pitcher and first baseman, left-handed pop in his bat. For the Rays, throw him into my PC hit there. Uh, John Birdie for the Marlins. Then we have D. Gordon for the Mariners. Jack Flaherty for the Cardinals. And I've said this before, uh, I actually shot high school footage of him before the MLB draft when he pitched for Harvard Westlake, and he was dominant. Shortstop uh, pitcher who was on the same rotation as Max Fried and uh, Lucas Giolito. Talk about dominant. Uh, Rick Porcello of the Mets. I don't even know if he's there after next season. Juan Soto, nice little hit there for the Nationals. And the last card of the pack is Kevin Newman of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Pack number five. Five. Number five, number five, number five. All right, we are going to show you that we have got Pete Alonzo of the Mets. This guy's gonna rebound. I know, he's got, there's, He's too good of a hitter, but he's got way too much going on right there in New York. He's going to definitely take advantage of having a Frankie Lindor in that lineup. Jorge Soler of the Royals. We have Matt Olson of the Oakland Athletics baseball team. We have Paul DeJong of the Cardinals. And, oh, this is a nice... Jordan Alvarez with the, oh, it's, what is this? Is it just the metallic? It's metallic and they're Santa. So that's a ultra rare short print. This is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of, this kind of short print you want. See if you see their Santa right there hiding, really hiding. And it's Jordan. The guy's a legit rookie who was out for, you know, injury and everything, but the guy's definitely going to be somebody to watch for. Uh, that's, that's, that's a big time hit. Um, big time. I'll sh actually, I'll show you those in a minute when I do it at the end of the episode. Gavin Lux. So I'm pulling this. is great. This is an awesome box, by the way. Uh, rookie card for the Dodgers going in the PC pile. Then we have Alex Bregman for the Astros. Dustin May for the Dodgers going in my PC pile. Seriously, I'm loving this box right now. Anthony Rendon, third baseman for the... Uh, to. Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, of California, of Western California, of Western United States. And Eric Hosmer, first baseman for the San Diego Padres. Yo, San Diego Padres, I am Ted Leitner, and I'm going to do his voice right now. I love that guy's voice. He's actually a great radio. Um, yeah. Anyway, pack number six. All right, we've got Michael Chavez going to the PC for the Red Sox. Carter Kiboom of the Nationals. Rookies galore, Bo Bichette. 
This is an, this is like a, this is a pretty much a Topps Holiday Hot Box right here. Topps Holiday Hot Mother Effin' Box. Kyle Garlic for the Phillies. Rookie card, I believe. Rookie card, yeah. Uh, going to the, going to the minor rookie pile. Mitch Garver for the Twins. Catcher over there in the Minneapolis area. And we have Carlos Correa, shortstop for the Astros. This is kind of an Astros hot box too, to be honest with you. Then Freddie Freeman, MVP of the Atlanta Braves. Nolan Arenado for the Colorado Rockies. MVP candidate, I don't even know. He may not even be on the Rockies uh, this next season. He's definitely, it's not that he's wearing out his welcome. Colorado, they, the, the Rockies just need to you know, change that ship there. Then we have Trevor Story of the Rockies, and it's kind of the same thing with him. He might be shipped away as well. And then speaking of being shipped away, Frankie Lindor, who is now with the Mets, as I mentioned a bit ago. We got four packs left. I'm pretty happy with what we got so far, honestly. I would quit while I'm ahead as well, but this is a whole box. Might as well just have fun with it. The Machine Pools for the Angels. Then we have Zach Collins. Rookie card for the White Sox. Danny Mendick, rookie card for those White Sox as well. Oscar Mercado for the Indians. And we have Randy Dobnik, technically Dobnik, technically a rookie card for the Twins. Another Corey Seager, but this is with the Metallic. Okay, nice, going into my PC pile. Anyway. PC pile. Malik Smith for the Mariners. Brandon Nimmo for the Mets. Jackie, who I don't even know if he's going to be with the Red Sox next year, but Jackie Bradley, who is then the center fielder for them, on and off, right field, left field, whatever. But Jackie Bradley going in the PC. And Jesus Lazardo, laser of the Oakland A's. Rookie card. Three packs. Well, let's see if we can get something. Uh, we're doing good. We, we've done well. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with what we got. We have Masahiro Tanaka of the Yankees. That's actually a kind of a cool card. I love the framing of this. You see him right here, and it's like if you're from the batter's perspective, you're right over here. It's actually a really cool looking card. This is this would be an awesome card to get autographed. I'm not gonna lie. I know. I'm not going to lie. It's a phrase I use, and it's, I've used it since high school. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. We have Ronnie Rodriguez for the Milwaukee Brewers. We have Ryan Braun of the Milwaukee Brewers. Talking to uh, one, a couple of you guys out there, but uh, I don't know where he's gonna land. Um, some of you seem to think that he's just gonna go ahead and just retire. I think he's still got some something in the, uh, something, uh, some tank, some gas in the tank still. We have Eddie Rosario for the Twins. Shane Bieber, Cy Young Award winner for the Cleveland Indian Ball Club, whatever they end up becoming named. Corey Kluber with the Metallic. Oh, Klubes, uh, we'll see where he lands. He pitched his whole one inning for the Rangers. Going in the PC, not PC, but the insert pile. Paul Goldschmidt for the Cardinals. And then we have Andrew McCutcheon for the Phillies. Jorge Alfaro for the Miami Marlins. Catcher over there, if you couldn't tell, because he's wearing the catcher's gear. The tools of ignorance. And the last card of the pack is Dakota Hudson, pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals. Down to two packs. I mean, I'd like to pull a Lou Bob, to be honest with you. I'm very content with what we pulled. But we'll we get one. You never know. Three, two, one, let's go. Two packs. All right, we got Kettle Marte of the Diamondbacks of Arizona. We've got Sam Hilliard of the Rockies. Christian Yelich, who I think is gonna massively have a comeback here of the Brewers. So I'm in the hip hop because he's gonna have a good year. We have Travis Merritt, rookie card for the Detroit Tigers. We have Michael Conforto of the Mets. Bruce Star, Gratterall, rookie card going in my PC pile, Dodgers. 
their, their back end, of the, their bullpen's gonna be solid. Uh, they just signed Trinan, uh, Blake Trinan. I, I, he's going to be the closer, I guarantee you. Maybe not this year, but soon. Then Eloy going into the hit pile for, uh, for the White Sox. Brandon Lowe for the Rays. Matt Chapman for the Oakland Athletics. And Wilson Contreras of the Cubs. Down to our last pack. Should have memorabilia, but you know what? I love it if it was an autograph. But just my luck, I'll pull some Panini points, which is completely asinine when I pull Panini points in this. But my luck, I would pull Panini points. But this has been a good box, so I'm not gonna jinx it. You ready? Let's do it now. All right, these packs, by the way, kind of like completely fall apart in your hands. All right, we have got Trey Mancini, comeback story for the Baltimore Orioles. We got Willie Adamas for the Rays. Will Myers for the Padres. Oh, that was a little too quick. <laughs> I should have checked the whole pack. Miguel Cabrera is our uh, is our um, our swatch, our jersey swatch, our relic, if you will. It's a, kind of a boring ass gray jersey if you look at it, but it's Miguel. He's going to be a Hall of Famer one day, so that's it's a hit. All right, there's Miggy, and then another Araldus Chapman for the Yankees without the uh, really cool sparkly on the corners. Corey Kluber, another one without the sparkly on the corners. Justin Turner going into the PC for now. We'll see where he lands. I know he wants that four-year deal. Uh, probably not going to happen, but we'll see. Four-year uh, Justin Turner for the Dodgers. And the last card is Jose Altuve. Really good God! I pulled like all of the foily, all the uh, uh, the metallic ice inserts. The last three guys I pulled in this pack. So yeah, there we go. So I didn't pull the Lubob, but I pulled the bow. I pulled Kyle Lewis. I pulled Randy Arazarena. Like those are, I mean, honestly, that's pretty solid there. The Yordans, okay, I was gonna get to that. I was gonna show you. So here are the two Yordans. Uh, they're not numbered at all, numbered like special number on the back. But if you'll see, uh, one of them has Santa Claus. This one right over here, there's Santa right there. Um, and it's as a metallic foil um, wrong, geez, which one? This one right here has the metallic foil on it. So you'll see that's actually the giveaway. Now it's a super short print from my, what I understand. So I'll put below, obviously, like I always do, put what it really is, but that's the Yordan. That's actually one you kind of want to pull, uh, which is cool that I got that. So yeah, so anyways, there you go. Tops 2020 holiday, throwback Thursday. Threw it back all the way to like two weeks ago when we should have gotten this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching Ripping Packs. Uh, be sure to pleasantly touch that subscribe button. And after you've touched it pleasantly, pleasantly touch that like button. And after you've touched it pleasantly, just forcefully click that notification bell. Yeah, because just say, dude, just, I'm, I want to know when this thing's coming on next, which will be tomorrow, which is Friday at 1 o'clock when it's going to drop, and we're going to open up some NBA hoops. Yeah, anyway, thank you again for watching Riffin Packs, and I'll see you tomorrow.